A new housing fight is brewing in the South Bay, and it's a big test for a strategy that could fast-track projects that might otherwise get rejected. The latest battleground is a longtime swim and tennis club in San Jose's Willow Glen neighborhood. A developer wants to tear down the club on Pedro Street to build condos, including low-income housing. And here is where it gets interesting. The developer is trying to use something called the Builder's Remedy. Now, we've been hearing about about this ever since the state started requiring cities and counties to submit their housing plans. And as Katie Nielsen shows us, it could be a way to push this project through without approval from the city. This is the San Jose Swim and Racquet Club. It first opened in 1956, almost 70 years ago. Now it's more than three acres of prime real estate where a developer wants to build 85 luxury condos, but neighbors are saying not so fast. It has uh, tennis and an Olympic sized pool. Dave Zalatimo has been a member at SJSRC for more than 20 years. It's where his kids learn to swim and where he comes to swim laps. And when you have a, a unique facility like this that is the center of a community, when this land is converted to um, private residential, um, that community is lost. Dave is leading an opposition group trying to save the swim club or at least prevent developers from turning it into condos. According to a proposal sent to the city, the developer wants to build a four story, 85 unit condo building with 20% of the units marked for low income housing. But the city planning department refused to change the zoning to allow the condo project to move forward. So the developer notified the city they'd be using something called builder's remedy. Cities are suddenly worried about this in a way that they weren't in the past. Professor Elmendorf teaches law classes in land use at UC Davis and is an expert in Builder's Remedy. He says it's a state statute that was rarely used until about six months ago. It allows developers to sidestep city zoning regulations to fast track affordable housing projects in cities that don't have an affordable housing plan approved by the state. The Builder's Remedy only applies in cities that haven't adopted an adequate housing plan to accommodate their share of regionally needed housing. With Builders Remedy, builders can come in with development on pretty much any property, and uh, we don't have a lot of leeway to say no. San Jose City Council member Dev Davis represents the Willow Glen neighborhood and the area of the proposed development. She says she's not opposed to the additional housing, but doesn't like the idea of losing recreational space to housing. But there isn't much the city can do to push back because it's a California regulation. The state and our state representatives have basically sided with developers and said developers get carte blanche and the average resident gets no say. The attorney for the development told me this afternoon that there is no lawful way for the city to block this development project and that the 85 housing units are a necessary step toward easing the area's housing crisis. Katie tells us just last night, San Jose City Council approved a revised version of its housing plan. So the state needs to sign off. But if it's approved, that would stop any more developers from using the builder's remedy. As far as the plan just approved, it outlines how San Jose aims to meet its goals of adding as many as 75,000 new homes over the next decade. So that could boost its housing stock by 25%. The city has identified about 600 potential sites for developments, many in the Deridan Station area and future site of Google's mega campus.